Thank you. 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 Welcome. No problem. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was just saying thank you so I could tune. I was just fucking with you guys. Um, okay, so. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you can pose for pictures, you know. Um, so, this next story is a very important one to me. Growing up, I owned about five CDs. All right? About five CDs. One was Skilo. Anybody remember Skilo? I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a baller. I wish I had a girl and a kid. I won't call it. I wish I had a rabbit. I had a bat and a six one baller. That was Skilo, all right? And I had to rap. My grandma took me to Target, and I couldn't remember the name of the rapper, and I had to rap that to the guy, and he's like, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Gotcha. So that's how I got my Skilo CD. Warner G's Regulators was another CD that I had. Anybody familiar with that? Woo! Yeah? A couple, a couple of regulators mounting up in here? All right. Mount up! Nice. Mount up! <laughs> All right, so that was another one. Weezer's Blue Album. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Girls in the... Yes. <laughs> That's how I felt, too. <laughs> and um, number four, fourth one that I owned, Offspring Smash. Yeah. That got taken away from me. Aww. Because in third grade, at Katie, what was her name? Katie Ross. Katie Ross's pool party in third grade, I brought the CD and we would all line up around the pool, and right before the part where he says, you stupid, whatever, your goddamn cocksucker, motherfucker, whatever it is. Oh, shit, goddamn motherfucker. We would all yell that and jump into the pool. We were like, yeah, this is the best party ever! She called my mom. <laughs> that CD ended up in my mom's closet. I found it later. <laughs> so, smash. And Nirvana's Unplugged in New York City. And um, then came along this thing called a compilation CD. Someone just randomly handed me a compilation. Do you guys even know what a compilation is? Yeah? Yeah? Do they have compilations these days still? Yeah? Just online compilations? Or do they have actual compilations? They do. It's kind of like a big CD. Yeah. For those of you that don't know. <laughs> right, huh? What? what? <laughs> a playlist, sorry, it's like a playlist. <laughs> um, we saw a disc man backstage and we were both like, whoa. <laughs> Anyways, so I was given this compilation and um, that's when I found more punk rock. And it just started, ugh, I was so pissed as a kid. You know, I, I seriously, in third grade, had to go to a psychiatrist for anger issues. I was such a pissed off kid. Seriously. No shit, right? I blame your parents. Um, and, uh, so, do you guys know that feeling that when you listen to a song, right, like, you're listening to the song, and you're so into it, and you're, you're hanging on every word, and then you get this like overwhelming feeling of, this motherfucker watches me in the shower. <laughs> like, this person knows every nook and cranny of my heart and my soul. You know what I'm talking about? Those people that seriously just like follow you around. It feels like they seriously just stalk you. And they know everything, and they're just writing songs as you're going through it. <laughs> Same shit. I mean, how many times have you been like, I felt that yesterday. I thought that yesterday. I was just talking, I can't believe that song came on. That was exactly what was going through my head when I heard this song. 
And I could not stop listening to this song in particular over and over and over. I became obsessed with it. And I had no idea why I could relate to this guy so much. Until years later, I found out that we shared a couple of the same problems. We both had addiction problems, and we both dealt with bipolar. His much worse than mine. Mine, mostly because of the drugs. Mm. And he goes by the name of Nick Trena, and he sang for a band called Link 80. Anybody know who Link 80 is? Yes. Good. Yes. Yes, exactly. They were punk ska, little hardcore in there, but you know, it wasn't, a, it would be more hardcore for you guys because punk back then was just so fast and sloppy and heavy that it sounded kind of what hardcore has become, I guess. Fuck you, Amers, that's stupid. Um, <laughs> anyways, so this dude basically was writing my childhood and I just listened to it over and over and over. And, um, he ended up taking his life at a very, very young age. At a very young age. And um, his mother is the author Danielle Steele. You guys know who she is? She wrote a book about it called His Bright Light. And I want you to go out and buy His Bright Light and read the story of Nick Trina by his mother. A musical genius that was just plagued by diseases, honestly. And ended up taking his life. And I'm not destroying his song up here because I think I'm entitled. I'm not doing it for credit. I'm doing it because I think he's one of the few artists that goes complete. No, one of the many artists that goes completely unnoticed and doesn't get enough credit. I don't want Nick Trina's spirit to die. I want you guys to know who he is. I want you to listen to Link 80. I want you to get this song. I want you to read his bright light. And I want you to celebrate his life. Okay? Cool. This song is called Nat. And it was on that compilation.
bright light. Purchase it. Read books. And actually, my favorite part, my favorite part of the entire thing, I almost forgot it, it's my favorite damn part. After the song, he says, um, you know, you wait like two or three seconds after a song and, uh, you know, you hear that silence and you know something's coming. Um, and he says something, and that was kind of the whole point of the compilation, and it's something that I want you to take with you mentally. I want you to bury it in your subconscious, I want you to live by it. And that is, the only evil is ignorance. The only good is knowledge. And I truly believe that. I truly, truly believe that. The only evil is ignorance. The only good is knowledge. So get to know him, motherfuckers. Get to know him. <laughs> you guys okay out there? <laughs> That's kind of a dark, sad story. Um,